All right, we're seeing another ripple effect of the coronavirus pandemic, this time on the average lifespan here in America. CDC says the average life expectancy in the first half of 2020 was 77.8 years. That is down a full year from 2019. We haven't seen that kind of decline since World War II. New at 5, we're going to take a look at the stories behind the numbers and why they're even worse for minorities. Today, the state of Michigan reported 888 new cases of the virus in the past day, with an additional 85 deaths, most of them coming from a review of records. President Joe Biden visits Michigan, and that I should, should say his visit to Michigan has been delayed by at least one day. He should visit the Pfizer plant in Kalamazoo tomorrow. Now that winter storm around Washington postponed today's trip, the president is expected to speak with employees working on Pfizer's vaccine for COVID-19. So make sure to watch for full coverage on Local 4 and click on Detroit.com. Meantime, the president is tackling an issue that has gotten stuck in Congress over and over again. Today, Democratic lawmakers helped launch new plans for immigration reform. Kimberly Gill following that for us. And Kim, this proposal does something we've never seen before. It sure does. And Karen, good afternoon to you. We'll talk about that change in just a second. But first, we know immigration reform is complicated, controversial and emotional. It affects millions of people, their families, as well as their communities. But President Biden is proposing a pathway to citizenship for undocumented immigrants that would take eight years. That's the fastest timeline ever proposed. There would be exemptions for farm workers, those here on humanitarian grounds, and immigrants who entered the U.S. illegally as children, allowing them to immediately apply for a green card. To qualify, immigrants must have entered the country before January 1st of this year. The bill would also spend $4 billion to boost development and fight corruption in Latin American countries, addressing problems.